Hello Aquarius, this is Queen Offset Haru, and I'm here today with your love reading for March 2024. It is a pick a pile reading. So while I'm doing an introduction, you can be picking your pile. This here is pile number one with our Cinnabar crystal. This is pile number two with the beautiful goddess Lakshmi. Let me get that right. And this is <laughs> Baby Grogu with pile number three, also known as Baby Yoda. <laughs> so you pick your pile and I'll introduce myself. My name is Queen Alset Haru and thank you for joining me for another wonderful edition of Ask an Aquarius. If you haven't already, please hit the red subscribe button and smack the bell. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and pass it to anyone and everyone who might like it too. Please drop us a positive comment in the comment section. Let me know which pile was your pile. And if you would like to get a reading done, please email me for a personal private reading or hit me up on my, let me see, my social media. All that will be underneath this video. I'm also going to put the links to the decks that I'm using today in case you want to check them out for yourself. Okay, let's go. Pile number one. Let's see what you got for your love life first of all pile number one you got the seven of cups this is a very interesting card because this is what it's telling you pile number one if you're somebody who's single is saying that you are going to have a lot of options in the month of march um probably even more than you probably usually do um to choose from so you might have like an ex coming back or two or three currents or uh, you might meet five or six people on Tinder. I don't know. You're going to have options is the point. So if you're a single person, that could be something that's really awesome. Um, if you're somebody who's in a relationship, that could be problematic or it could not be because maybe you're poly and you want more than one option. So it really depends on what your personal situation is. But anybody that's in pile one is basically just saying that you're going to have options. Now, as I'm reading the cards, remember that this pile if you picked pile number one either all of the cards are going to be for you or one or some of the cards are going to be for you if you didn't if you don't resonate with, with the cards in the pile then you probably picked the wrong pile so pick a different pile because <laughs> that happens a lot people will often tell me i picked pile number one but it was pile number three for me so don't forget that anyway so anybody in pile number one you're going to have some options all right yeah, this makes a lot of sense, Pile 1, because you also got the interference card for your second one. So the interference card is about a third party. Now, remember, this could be a third party, like a person who's trying to break up in your relationship, a person who's in your relationship, a polyamorous partner. But it also could be somebody like a hater or a family member or a friend who's coming in the way. Maybe you're in a relationship with somebody and their mama hates you, for example, and their mama keep on making trouble. That could be an interference as well. So just remember, it doesn't necessarily have to be a lover problem. It also can be one of the, uh, it's always a third party, but it could be also a third party that's causing problems with a friend, family member, coworker, personal Instagram, you know, anything like that could be a possibility too. I'm talking to hundreds of people at once. So it depends on who, who you are in your specific situation. Now, I found this to be very interesting. You got the protection card pile number one. That tells me whoever this hater is, whoever this influence is, you need to protect yourself from this vibration. The protection card comes up when you or your lover or your relationship are in trouble of this third party of this outside force. This could be a dangerous situation. Um, some of the times it's just a threat coming to you of somebody that you're arguing with or something like that, but it also could be dark magic. I'm going to just let you know, it could be somebody who has uh, targeted you for that kind of a practice. So if you're around people like that, or if you know somebody who would do something like that, if you're starting to feel strange or something like that, you need to go talk to someone, uh, to give you a reading. But the bottom line is, is that you need to protect yourself, protect your loved ones, protect this relationship. And if you need to get some further information, inbox me and I will help you with the reading. Next one. Let me get these out the way. It's getting kind of thick over here. All right. Yeah, see, look at this. Fake smiles. 
See, that means that, remember I said, you have haters, you have third parties. For some of you, the fake smiles are coming from you. <laughs> That's another thing. For some of you, for some of you, you are being fake with someone. You're the keep not, you know, you're not keeping it real. You're telling them what they want to hear, you know, something like that. For others of you, it's somebody who's doing this to you. For others of you, it's one of those perps, one of those persons or one of those people, I should say, that I talked about who you need protection from in the relationship. So that's that mother-in-law who's smiling in your face, but talking shit about you behind your back. You see? So it depends on the situation, but there's a lot of fakeness going on with this pile one. So you got to be careful. Yeah, see, these are all going together. The loyalty card says for you to go towards those who are loyal. So when you're thinking about, if you have a, a lot of people to choose from as far as lovers is concerned, go towards the one who's loyal. Go towards the friends who are loyal. Go towards the people who are loyal. Loyalty is going to be very important because, like I said, you have this fakeness. You have this need for protection. You have interferences coming. You got a lot going on here, and you have to be really careful with this vibration. So only mess with those, power one, that you know are loyal. And have your best interest at heart. And do the same for other people. Be loyal to other people and have their best interest. All right. That's pile one. All right. Here we go. Let's go to pile two. Put this over here. So we got some more room. Pile two. Ah, pile two. Your love life looks like you've gotten beat up a little bit. Um, she looks a little tattered in this card. So the nine of wands is a card about when you're waiting to see what's going to happen. So some of you have gotten beat up by your love life. And some of you are waiting to see what's going to happen with the situation in your love life. So like I said before, it, it definitely depends on who you are. But this card is a card about waiting. This is a card about resting. Some of you may need to rest right now. Um, it, it's also a card about anticipating an attack. So maybe you're getting attacked by another person in your love life. Like, for example, maybe you and your lover are fighting. I mean, that's a very common one to happen. You know, it could just be a small argument. But in March, you're going to have to be really careful with that vibration. It says to turn towards your family. Yeah, turn towards your family. Um, let your family help you with whatever you know, stresses you're going through. If you don't have a family, turn towards your chosen family, which would be friends or, you know, God sisters or adopted people that are in your life. That's going to be helpful at this time of turbulence. This is a time that could be very turbulent. It's also going to be a time where you need a lot of patience, pal, too. This is a, a time when you're going to have to be very patient and allow things to heal, allow things to come together. Uh, whenever we see this card, that means that the person, if they're single or not, is having some type of issue that's going to require patience. It could be getting over something that has happened or it could be dealing with something that has currently happened. But whenever they tell us to be patient, it means that whatever the situation is, it's going to slowly work itself out or you're going to slowly work it out. Some of you are going to be dealing with car problems with your love life, which means that maybe your lover can't come see you because the car is fucked up. Or maybe you and you, you can't go out and meet people or, or hang out if you're single. Maybe you can't go to your normal spots because you don't have a car or because of their car issues. Um, this also can come about when... Um, it's difficult for you. Like, for example, your lover has to take the car to work and you got to stay in the house all day. You know, it depends on your situation. So if you're single, it's going to be, you know, different than if you're in a relationship, of course. So some of you, it could just be a very small thing. Some of you are going to need to spend your car money, you know, your, your play money, I should say, on the car. So maybe you can't do something special you wanted to do for March or something like that. Maybe you can't buy a gift or something you wanted to buy or go someplace you wanted to go because the money is going into that. Um, so this is like, you know, this isn't for everybody, of course. 
some of you don't even have a car <laughs> and it will cause issues, you know, or some of you may be dealing with somebody else's car issues. So this is something I've seen a lot. I remember having, you know, you were a kid, you had a little boyfriend and they don't have a car. <laughs> it reminds me of those kind of little issues and stuff like that. It also could mean some problem with other forms of transportation too. Let's say somebody's planning to come visit you and something goes wrong and their flight is delayed or canceled, something like that. It could also indicate other transportation issues. Divinity. This card says that you need to be praying on your romantic relationship. Divinity is when you welcome in divine assistance, divine guidance, divine support, divine intervention. You allow in your God, Goddess, Buddha, Jesus, whoever you're talking to, you allow this energy in and ask it to help you with the situation. Because you got the Nine of Wands and that's such a, a card that indicates possible aggression, um, you know, you like I said before, you could have gotten into a fight. So this card right here is about allowing in the heavenly bodies to soothe the situation, to help with the situation, and to help everyone move forward. All right, that was pile number two. And then we have pile number three. Pile number three, you got, who is she? The Princess of Swords, pile number three. The Princess of Swords is ready. She's ready for something. Um, and the other cards are going to tell us what she's ready for, but that's what this stands by. It's like the princess, often in the card, the princess is holding a bat and the princess is coming up the bat, coming up to play. So this means that those of you in pile three, this month you're going to be getting ready for something. And we're getting ready to find out what that something is. For many of you, it's going to be something that's going to shatter you. So some of you may end up in a situation that is very painful. So some of you are going to be working through a painful situation, a heartbreaking situation. Uh, we're going to really see some more cards about, you know, some options about what that actually could be. Um, those of you who are actually single might be dealing with heartbreak from the past or healing from the past. I have a good buddy of mine and she's doing this book with me called After the Breakup. But her breakup happened like four years ago. But she never dealt with the breakup. So maybe some of you are in that position where you're just now dealing with something of the heart kind. Maybe now you're ready for it. So some of you have already finished with it and now you're going to be moving on. But this all has to do with something that has to be dealt with. And like I said, breakup. Many of you, it is a breakup. Many of you are ready to break up with somebody that you're currently seeing. Or many of you are willing to deal, like I said before, with a breakup that already happened. So we get a lot of this breakup energy. Um, if you're somebody who has had a breakup that you still haven't gotten over, this is a sign from the cards to say, this is the time to heal it and deal with it and face it. If you're somebody who's dealing with somebody that you know you need to leave alone, this is a sign from the cards that says, it's time to leave that person alone. If you're somebody who's single and, you know, you might be helping somebody else that's dealing with a breakup situation. Um, but look at yourself first. Always look at yourself first to see if there's something from the past, from any breakup you have not healed from. Because oftentimes when you get this card, that's what it means. Karma. Karmic, karmic friends. Be very careful about who you trust. At this time, especially significant others, if you're in pile three, because some of you, especially the ones who have broken up with this person, this person may be trying to get you back. They may be trying to get a revenge against you. You can't trust this person. Um, they might be in competition with you. They might be lying to your friends about you. You have to be very, very careful of karmic situations like this. So be really careful because some of you have some um, haters. And some people who are competing with you, some frenemies around. And lastly, pile three. Pile three, please, please, please be tender with yourself. Healing something like this. Um, and for some of you, it's going to require healing your inner child. The child is right there. So 
healing something that is like this um, it requires tenderness, gentleness with yourself, self-love, self-reflection. Uh, you may need to go to therapy. Uh, you might want to get some self-help books. You know, I always recommend those. Um, you may need to call me and get a breakup reading. You know, there's a lot of resources out there for you. So you need to go towards your resources and be tender with your spirit and with your heart. And some of you, especially, you know, since we're all Aquarius, it's common for us not to deal with our feelings. It's common for us to stuff those feelings and kind of ignore them. And they're saying, don't do this. Be tender with yourself and deal with things head on. Okay. So that is our pick a pile reading for March 2024 and let me put this here you guys please <laughs> look at Grogu being bossy <laughs> you guys uh please come back soon because I have a lot more to say see you later